Number 1. Below Absolute Zero Until recently, scientists believed that the coldest temperature possible was absolute zero and that it wasn't possible for something to be below this. Not anymore, though. Research into this has been undertaken by the Max Planck Institute, and they have found that it is in fact possible to create temperatures below absolute zero. The German research team used a cloud of gas atoms in their experiment, cooling it to temperatures well below 273.15 degrees Celsius. It's all down to the behavior of the particles which, when heated, become disordered. This in turn drives the temperature of the particles down. The researchers used the fact that the majority of particles have a high energy, with just a few having a low energy, in order to create their new, super-cold particles. They haven't decided what use these particles are yet, though. Number 2. Weight of the Universe In the 1970s, a team of the most celebrated scientists in the world got together to attempt to work out the mass of the universe. They used their knowledge of gravity alongside what they knew about the dynamics of the galaxies. They were successful in their attempt, however, the figure they worked out would suggest that the universe is breaking up. Everything in the galaxy is moving around a fixed point. The movement is created by a centripetal force created by the movement itself. What the scientists worked out, though, is that the galaxy's mass isn't sufficient for this movement to happen. And this is where the idea of dark matter came from. Dark matter is everything that must be in the universe which we don't yet know about. The scientists knew that there must be more mass in order for the orbits to work, and worked out that this must mean there is stuff out there in which we haven't yet discovered. We're still no closer to knowing whether this is the correct conclusion or not. Number 3. Stem Cell Research Stem cell research is surrounded by issues of ethics due to the fact that it relies on using embryos, but that may be about to change thanks to James Thompson from the University of Wisconsin and Shinya Yamanaka from Kyoto University. They have been working on using ordinary skin cells which they have modified to behave like embryo cells and therefore could potentially be used in stem cell research in replacement of the embryos which cause so many issues. It all sounds promising, but it will be a fair while before these possibilities become reality. The scientists know that they're able to get the skin cells to behave like embryos, but they don't know whether these modified cells will be as much use as the embryo cells which are currently used for stem cell research. For the time being, embryos will continue to be used in what is probably the most controversial uses of science at this minute. Recently, a report from Portland University claimed that they made a clone of a monkey embryo which potentially leads the way to human cloning. Work will continue and science will carry on throwing up new ways of making life. Number 4. Antimatter Despite previous beliefs, antimatter is in fact a real thing, created from antiparticles as opposed to the particles which ordinary matter is made up of. Almost everything we can see in the universe is ordinary matter. Antimatter exists only in space and is amongst the biggest mysteries of physics. Antimatter has been created in the laboratory, though. Scientists took ordinary particles and crashed them into one another at immense speed, almost the speed of light. It's dangerous work. When antimatter and ordinary matter come into contact, the energy in antimatter is released. This energy is able to create enormous explosions. The CERN laboratory in Geneva is home to a large amount of antimatter created by the scientists there and stored in a vacuum using a magnetic trap. They are working on ways to use the massive energy that antimatter has as a potential source of renewable energy. This would be an enormous breakthrough for mankind and would help protect the environment from the hazards of using fossil fuels. The research into how we could use antimatter continues. Number 5. Solar Flares these massive flares are created by enormous explosions in the atmosphere surrounding the sun. When one of these explosions happens, really huge amounts of electromagnetic radiation is suddenly released, which, if they happen to be headed towards the Earth, have the potential to completely disrupt our electric power grids and satellite systems and effectively cut out all of our electronic communications, resulting in the world's power being completely cut off. When a solar flare happens, the radiation reaches the Earth around one or two days after the explosion. In 2011, NASA was able to film a solar flare happening. The one they witnessed didn't affect us, however, scientists predict that there will be more solar flares occurring in the future, with a high amount in 2013 and the early part of 2014. It is thought that these solar flares will be really, really big. If they're big enough, you can actually see a solar flare without any specialist equipment. If you're interested in looking out for them, they look like a really bright white light coming from the sun. If the massive energy created by a solar flare engages with the magnetic field of the Earth, geomagnetic storms can occur and aurora lights can be seen. 
Unlike the famous Aurora Borealis, these lights can be seen at a wide range of latitudes, even close to the equator. If a massive storm did happen to be was directed towards the Earth, it could have massive consequences for the world's infrastructure. Solar storms have even been known to happen in space. Space weather is another thing currently being researched by scientists. The scientific research being conducted into solar flares is intended to help the scientists predict them better in order for us to be able to prepare ourselves should the need arise.